And so the Terminator franchise is about to fail at recapturing the glory days of Terminator 2 again, for the fourth time. A few days ago, the failing Paramount Pictures released a trailer for Terminator Dark Fate, and the internet uttered a collective meh. Some girl tells us that two days ago she had a nice, simple life, and now it's a nightmare. Sounds like science fiction after 2016. Then we get a single note piano playing in the background, which seems to be an indication of a pretty shitty movie forthcoming these days. Then we hear some horrible man bun wearing wiener singing in the background. I know this makes me sound old, but what the hell is with the music the younger generations listen to these days? It's not music, it's droning hipster shit. The dude can't even sing in key. I mean, what the hell? Is the ability to carry a note triggering or oppressive these days? Next, we get to see the androgynous 1000 played by that girl that played that character I couldn't stand on Halt and Catch Fire. Back in the day, the Terminator franchise would give us attractive feminine lead characters, but I guess that is considered sexual harassment or something these days. Or whatever the catchword this week is. The androgynous 1000 spears some dude, and then we get some laughably bad effects. I mean, come on guys, Odo did it better back in 1993. Then we get what we think is Arnold, but instead it's Hillary Clinton. Actually, no, it's Sarah Connor, played once again by Linda Hamilton. Don't get me wrong, I like Linda Hamilton's Sarah Connor, but why do I have the feeling this is probably going to be more feminist Sarah Connor and less badass Sarah Connor? 1991 was a very different time. It was a better time. 1991 would lose its shit if it ever happened to meet 2019. Then it would proceed to beat the shit out of 2019, and 2019 would run away and cry, like the soy-based little hipster bitch it is, and then 1991 would steal its girlfriend. Next... Dyson listened while the Terminator laid it all down. Skynet, Judgment Day, the history of things to come. It's not every day that you find out you're responsible for three billion deaths. He took it pretty well. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. You're judging me on things I haven't even done yet. <laughs> How are we supposed to know? Yeah. Right. How are you supposed to know? Fucking men like you built the hydrogen bomb. Men like you thought it up. so creative you don't know what it's like to really create something to create a life to feel it growing inside you all you know how to create is death and destruction Bose Lautrec I see you're talking about the latest Terminator trailer so uh, they've come after Terminator and they're going to be coming after Bond soon and I notice that <laughs> Just say you finally were able to say feminist, even though you still talk about SJWs. But it's third wave feminist, of course. And of course, you talk about soy, and you talk about people being being woke. Now, <laughs> most of track. It's first of all third wave feminist. There's no worse than first and second wave. They're all the same. And I know why you're saying third wave. You would lose subs and views if you just said feminist, period. First wave feminists were handing out white feathers to young men so they go die in the First World War. They aren't any better. You know, the second wave was no better either. Tell me something, but why are you blaming uh, third wave feminism? Uh, the Duluth model, when did it come out? Early 80s? You know, did the uh, <laughs> did the millennials use their psychic powers from the womb to make uh, adults come up with the Duluth model? You know, where 
where basically the females are all victims and men are all perpetrators. No, you know, and you know, none of us, you and I are older men, our generation did squat. You know, we are just as soy as any other generation, just as soy as these millennials. We sat on our hands. We didn't protest anything. I mean, this culture attack or in incursion by feminists, it's just the latest thing. It's like when you get the measles, the actual uh, blemishes, they're just a symptom. They come later on. You had to catch the disease from the start. This has been going on since the turn of the 1900s. I'm not going to let you defame this young generation, this new generation, when our generation sat on our hands and we let things happen. I mean, look at this video you're doing. Are you uh, telling people that they should protest in the street and start fighting back? No, you're just making money off it. Like all these other YouTubers I see. I mean, look, I, I, I don't know if I'm getting this right. You were divorced, right? You went through a nasty divorce. All kinds of guys did, and still happening. Did they? Did our generation work to change things so divorce wasn't so bad, or it was more fair to and equitable to men? No. So who are you, or any of these guys, to say you know this generation is soy guy, soy boys? And by the way, Linda Hamilton. She's there, and she is glad to be part of this feminist garbage of the new Terminator. You know, no one, uh, you know, twisted her rubber arm. Well, no one twisted her arm, period. None of these actresses, these older actresses, before the, the new generation are balking and saying, no, I don't want to be a part of this. Who was it you were talking about uh, directing? Tim Miller? I looked up his age. He's 49. He's our generation, sir. What's his excuse? I mean, is this a case where all these guys, these normal guys, they're all powerless? They can't say no. He's the director, but he can't direct it and say, sorry, I need, uh, I, you know, I, I can't go along with this uh feminist agenda. Of course I have to because, you know, there's these powers that be that stop me from protesting or refusing or take, taking up the mantle. I got news for you. Feminism is the default of women and men. It's the default. That's what we're born with. We have to basically teach ourselves out of it. Here's a good example. I listen to some of your, you know, talk with El Patron and uh, Al Tiori, I think her name is, and the first minute you guys are talking about how she's such a big YouTuber. And it, it's sure enough, you, you, you've got what, about 30,000 subs. Uh, she's got, what, over 200 or something like that. It's a huge amount. Why? You are the best of the three. When it comes to talking about this stuff, you have the clearest voice, you're the most concise. And I'm, I don't know when your channels came up, but I expect yours is older than hers. And of course, she's doing great because guys flock to female YouTubers. So you think that nature, that male nature, is, isn't going to flow over into every other aspect of human society? Like, come on, man, get a grip. And here's another thing. Because of that, it's not, this has nothing to do with wokeness. Do you understand? It's not an ideology. You know, even if you find some woman who takes up the feminist you know, ideological mantle and, and wears it on her chest, like Kathleen Kennedy, the average girl supports this. And the average guy gets on board. 
you know, all these movies are made by massive amount of men and women, both genders, and all kinds of money and all kinds of time. So guys are looking at it, people who are making these movies, and guess what? This movie will make enough money to get by. There's no going broke. I mean, all the ones that didn't do well that well, they're still making money. They just have to make enough money to say they made a profit. You know, you know corporations have been shown that they're willing to sacrifice profits to pander to women. As a matter of fact, this isn't even really pandering that much. It's not going to be something that women flock to see. It's only to spit on men, just so women can look at it and say, yes, uh, finally, uh, all the girls are going to be empowered. But they don't necessarily go to the movies. That's the whole point. That's the pandering part. The purpose of these films is to spit on the male fandom. That's it. It's, it's not about uh, being woke. It's just what men and women do to men. They find a group of men to shit on and they do it. They want to do it. No ideology required. Okay? Now, knock it off. Thank you, Bullets Trek. Goodbye.